I started 2023 with this sermon series called Living Life Upside Down. And right out of the gate on New Year's Day, I hit a fast, I hit a hard, we jumped right into the deep end of the pool. And I was setting the stage for the next several weeks where we jumped into the Beatitudes. And on New Year's Day, as I'm preaching, there's this older couple, they're retired, and they're sitting off to my right. And I could hear them having a conversation as I'm preaching. And I hear the man say to the, the wife, well, I don't agree with that. that. I don't understand that. That, that doesn't make sense to me. And, and I just hit on uh, the verse in Luke chapter 14 where Jesus says, basically, if you don't hate your mom and dad, you can't be my disciple. And so I was using that scripture as uh, support for a point. And so very uncharacteristic of me and, and very unlike me to do this at all. I, I could hear the concern uh, from this couple. And so I, I literally stopped my sermon and I just turned and, and, and they're friends of mine and, and, and I love them to death and they've been coming to this church for a long, long time. I just turned and I said, hey, brother, like I, I, I hear you talking, like what's your concern? And we just had this conversation right in the middle of my sermon. But the church people like like were engaged in this and they were listening to us go back and forth. And I knew like I don't have the time to... Uh, digress and to really flesh this verse out uh, right then and there. I needed to stick to my sermon, but I immediately knew that when this sermon series is over, I'm jumping right back into that one because I thought if this man struggles with this verse, there's going to be other people in um, the sanctuary and in the church that struggle with that verse. And not only that verse, there's there's some other verses in Scripture some other sayings of Jesus that I'm sure people struggle with. They don't understand. They they don't get it. It, it might sound contradictory to them or, or, or impossible or really hard for them. And so based on the need of, of this person and probably other people, that's kind of guiding and directing my next sermon series. So with eyes wide open and ears wide open, listen to the, the spiritual needs of your people and do the best you can to address that. So instead of going off on, on whatever sermon series I want to do or, or whatever I think is going to be cool or, or effective or, or fun, uh, I'm honing in on uh, this person's need and, and really probably a lot of people's need to understand scripture that's hard to understand. So again, eyes and ears wide open and listen to the needs of your people. Hey, I love you. I'll see you next time.